Good morning, ladies. Hey, good morning guys. I haven't checked in on the garden for a couple days, so wanted to kind of take you along with me and see how things are progressing. It's been unusually humid here. Um, that's kind of weird for Colorado to have humidity at about 40% when we're used to about 15 to 10%. But uh, it has helped out the garden though. Um, corn, as you can see, is really starting to come up good. Um, <laughs> I got a 100% germination rate on the squash gem corn. Not too shabby at all. This is a big patch of clover. Um, and yes, I did do that on purpose. I want uh, cover crop. But if you can kind of see the tall leaves that are sticking out of that, that is our beans, bush beans. And near the edge here is actually vining beans that are going to go all the way up this thing. That is exactly what we want. The potatoes, man, what can I say? These things have been beasts from the get-go. Um, if you go back and see my video on planting potatoes, um, this method works, guys, and it works very very well I'm actually uh, starting to see some buds for flowers wanting to come out so red potatoes we're gonna have a bunch of them this year that is for sure chives absolute beasts as usual decided to kind of move my potted tomatoes uh, kind of out in the yard I just think they get more sunlight that way and my cucumber, it seems like this thing grows about an inch or two every day. Um, I have never had cucumbers grow this fast before and look this healthy. So, super stoked. I even, I think I even see flowers. Oh my gosh, I see flowers. Yeah, this thing's doing very, very well. And in the squash bed, this is where the honey nut squash and the pumpkins are. Yep, they are definitely sprouting out. Thank goodness. Um, I think they got kind of suffocated out by the mulch that I had in there. So I just poured a fresh mound of potting mix and reseeded and prayed that this was going to work. I think it worked. Happy about that. There's my other tomato. Why it is growing really, really well. Um, leaves look a little bit curly, but I think that's because it's been kind of wet. So that might have something to do with it. Raspberries looking awesome. Guys, the tea garden is slowly but surely starting to take shape. And I'm going to do a video just on that alone um, because I don't know the names of all these things and my wife does. So <laughs> I'm going to need her help on this. Kind of a upper view here. Um, mushrooms. Guys, I don't think I can recall ever seeing as many mushrooms in my garden as I have this year. I think that's a good sign. I'm hoping that's a good sign. Pretty sure it is. Now here is our spearmint. This is going to be for all of our teas and stuff, but it has exploded um, and taken off. It looked like it got a little weak when I transplanted it, but uh, yeah, I think it's on the mend for sure. Got some more mint here with the kale. Thing is just an absolute beast growing 
like crazy. If you're wondering where the chairs came from, that is a project my wife did. Now, this thing right here, you know, you got your cat mint here, you got volunteer dill plant, but I could not remember what in the world I planted here. And I figured it out. Guys, it's corn salad. Now, or matcha is, I guess, what it's called. But first year ever trying to grow this and finally remembered what it was. Uh, took a couple leaves off and kind of nibbled on them. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kind of reminds me of a cross between a lettuce and a spinach almost in a way. But uh, yeah, I like these. These things... Uh, Tastes pretty good and kind of ornamental too, so cool beans. Look at what the holy basil is doing. I cannot believe how much bigger this thing has got and how much it's starting to fill in. Pretty awesome. We use that and dehydrate it and put it in a, a basil mix that uh, we like to use on a lot of uh, a lot of cooking. And here's the snapdragons. They're starting to uh, expand and get ready to explode with a bunch more flowers. If you're wondering what that is, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, this happens a lot in my garden where I'll put something in, seed it, and then all of a sudden I go back and I go, what is that? I don't remember. I think it's a mint of some kind or um, maybe, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I guess we'll find out. Well, this bed seems to be doing pretty well. Um, there's the spring onions that I thought were dead. <laughs> totally wrong on that one. Uh, a couple tomato plants. Yeah, it looks like I have one that's kind of struggling. But actually, it looks like there's new growth kind of coming back. So we'll fight for that one. These are my mammoth sunflowers in each corner. And the snap peas. I don't know if we're going to get snap peas or not. Um, we went from basically like 30 degrees uh, for a high to 90 degrees in less than a month. I'm sure a lot of you went through the same. And uh, yeah, that's kind of a shock to the system going from 30 to 90. So I don't know. We'll see if these things produce this year or not. Cucamelons are hanging on. I know it takes a while for them to get going. Banana peppers. They kind of got beat up a little bit just because we've had a lot of high wind going on and uh, it's kind of blown the leaves off these so it's kind of had to reorganize and restructure. If you look in there you can see new leaves starting to appear on this as well. So Lettuce is looking very good. Loving that. Got a couple turnips that are sitting here. I do believe there are probably a couple of uh, radishes left, not many, but a few. But overall, pretty satisfied with what's going on here. Eventually, because uh, I just put down some seed for cucumelons uh, a couple weeks ago, it takes a while for them to germinate, but once it does, I'm hoping this thing kind of curls over and around. And then on the other side, you have the vining beans, which is gonna curl around. So I'm hoping we can get something where we get this whole thing covered. That would be awesome. And we got our lemon balm and uh, garden sage here, both doing pretty well. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put anything else in here just because I have a feeling that lemon balms are gonna really spread out, so. I don't want to choke it out. We want to grow as much of that as possible this year. And this one, guys, you know, I was kind of thinking I was going to do kale in here and call it kale corner. Well, 
I kind of gave up on that idea, to be honest. Um, picked most of the kale, the seedlings that came up out, fed it to the chickens. So I just feel I could get more um, usage out of this bed than that. Um, so I actually planted uh, three, um, what did I plant in here? Zucchini. So we got three zucchini plants that are gonna be coming up. I just think it's something I can utilize a lot better and use. So that's what I do though. I change my mind a lot on stuff. <laughs> so zucchini should be a pretty good addition though for this area. Onions here are looking fantastic. The columbine, I promised you guys I'd show you what columbine look like when they're in bloom and boy did they bloom. Um, it's actually the Colorado state flower, but uh, this is a perennial, comes up on its own every year and just kind of blesses us with all that bloomage going on. Very beautiful though, I love, uh, love the color. They do come in different colors, but I like this one the best, definitely. Cool flower, though. I wanted to show you this. So we decided to take our uh, mini key lime tree that was inside and bring it outside. Um, I've had some people say I shouldn't be doing this because it's a shock to the tree. We haven't been getting any limes on this thing at all uh, since we've owned it for the past almost two years. I took it out here and guys, like three days later, I'm starting to see stuff. And I thought I saw an actual lime somewhere on here starting to develop. But um, anyway, oh, there it is. If I pull back, there's a lime right there starting to develop. But I think it's been uh, really, awesome bringing this out here i think it's been a great idea you got new growth starting to happen you got flowers that are wanting to come out um i'm definitely going to be doing this from now on and i'm hoping we actually start getting some limes from this thing because we like little key limes Here's the other onions that I actually grew from seed that I'm transplanted in here. They seem to be doing not too bad. Groot, making sure that everything's looking happy and healthy. And lastly, guys, is the tomato bed. I have been working on this like crazy. I actually uh, draped up some shade cloth that's gonna kind of help out as far as intense sun and uh, possibly hail that is probably going to happen i'm sure in colorado we get it but the tomatoes i think are really doing good um i just transplanted these two weeks ago just two weeks ago and i'm seeing a significant amount of growth already starting to happen um right as I transplanted them is when it started to get into the upper 80s and 90s so uh, just perfect conditions for these guys and uh, got more flowers starting to come out awesome that is basil that's going in there as well in the middle but uh, all in all I'm really happy with how these tomatoes are doing now I did do um, warm compost tea on this a couple days ago and if you've never heard of that um i'm gonna suggest that you do it <laughs> try it out um, you can make your own or you can go on amazon and get some but it's just called worm tea use worm tea um, i would say once every other week and fertilize these things it's going to be good for your ground it's not a chemical fertilizer it's actually going to enhance the microorganisms in your soil so it's going to build not only your plants, but your soil structure as well. So definitely try it out. I think it's uh, going to be very beneficial for uh, the tomato bed this year. I think the nice thing about coming out this uh, 
this morning is seeing the changes and that's what I love about this time of year when you're in the garden it seems like every morning there's a new change or something new that you didn't see before so I am satisfied with the way things are going right now <laughs> guys thanks for joining me I appreciate it as always you can reach us at fleetwoodpatch at gmail.com as well as Facebook Instagram and Twitter you got this have a great day